Hello, hello, hello. Hello, South Africa. Hello, Michigan. Hello, Australia, Texas. Praise God. Bristol, Virginia in the house. The one and only Carol Puma. Good morning, Ireland. Dallas, Georgia. Praise God. Morning, morning, morning. New Orleans, Jersey, Orange Park, Florida. Moore Haven, Louisville. Good morning. The Bronx. Come on, the Bronx in the house. Good morning, Jane. Hello, California, Louisiana. Good to see you on the line. Nicholasville, coming your way. Chattanooga. We're going to start the prayer broadcast in about 90 seconds. Go ahead and share this with your friends. Invite your followers. Hello, Perth, Australia. Columbus, Ohio, Atlanta. Port Arthur, Texas, the Netherlands. Good morning. South Africa, good morning. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Share, hit the share button. We're going to start in about 30 seconds. Wake up your friends. Say, you got to get on the prayer broadcast. It's about that time. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 3 a.m. Wow. All right. All right. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here, author of our devotional Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still small voice and founder of the brand new prayer movement, Awakening Blaze. It's been an honor. I've been getting endorsements from leaders of the prayer and prophetic movements in the body of Christ, awakeningblaze.com. Amazing. We're having an interest call for that on July the 19th. So get with me later on the broadcast. I'll tell you how to get involved in that. Today's devotion titled, You Can Overcome Life's Distractions. Here's what I heard the Lord say. There will always be distractions around you. You can never rid yourself of all the distractions in this life. The only way to overcome the distractions is to refuse to give them your eyes, your ears, your mouth, and your mind. In other words, stop thinking about them. <laughs> stop listening. Stop looking. Stop talking about them. There is tremendous power in a life focused singularly on Jesus and his will. Tremendous power. The decision, says the Lord, is yours. What a word. My God, that's powerful. Today's devotion, uh, today's scripture references Proverbs chapter 20, verse 12, Psalm 119, verse 15, and Proverbs chapter 5, verse 1. And the prayer starter from the devotional, distractions rise up against me every day, but I refuse to give them my eyes, my ears, or my mouth any longer. Help me to think according to the mind of Christ, so they will not enter my mind either. <laughs> Set a guard over my mouth and cause me to speak according to what you teach me. Oh, Jesus, we thank you, God. We give you praise. We glory in your most holy name, God. We glory in your most holy name, God. We rejoice in your most holy name, God, the name above every name. We rejoice in you, God. There is no other, uh, nothing else worth rejoicing in, God. We rejoice in you. We're not going to rejoice in our accomplishments apart from you, but we're going to rejoice in our calling in you. We're not going to rejoice in the in the, the calamities of others, but we're going to rejoice in the success of those around and about us, God. We're not going to rejoice in evil, but we're going to rejoice in good. God, we thank you that we can rejoice in you today. We're going to be strong in you and the power of your might, God. I thank you, Lord, that whatever distress 
distraction is coming against us. I thank you, Lord, that we will continue to be attracted to your presence. Oh, the distractions will come, but we'll be attracted to the mind of Christ. The distractions of the devil will continue to plague us on many days, but we'll be attracted to your holiness, attracted to your beauty, attracted to your word, attracted to your presence. I thank you, Lord, that the attraction of you of your heart is greater than the distractions of the enemy. Oh, come on, somebody. We thank you, Lord. Let the attraction to your presence, the attraction to your beauty, the attraction to your holiness, the attraction to your ways of being right and doing right. Let that attraction be stronger than the enemy's distractions, God. Oh, God, let us keep our eyes on you, our mind on you, our heart inclined towards you. God, would you help us, Lord, not to turn to the right or to the left when you're calling us to march forward for your glory. God, I thank you. Those distractions that come to whittle away at our progress, those distractions that come to get our focus off you, those distractions that plague us. Oh, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that we will be so attracted to you, so attracted to your word, so attracted to your spirit, to your precepts, to your truths, to your commandments. We will not even give heed to the enemy's distractions. Oh, God, help us today to make that shift in Jesus' name, to make that rapid transition in the name of the Lord. Help us, God, to do it, God. Help us to move out of that place of distraction where every little thing grabs our attention and help us to stay fixed on you, firmly focused on you. Just like Jesus, when he hung on that cross, he was distra- He could have been distracted by the Pharisees that tried to get him to come down off of that place. He could have been distracted by the by the thief on one side that was accusing him. He could have been distracted by all the people watching him in the shame that he bore on the cross, but he was attracted to you, God. He kept his eyes on the prize, despising the shame, but seeing the finish line. I thank you, Lord. I just see prophetically, many of you are so close to your finish line. Many of you are so close to that next blessing. Many of you have walked through the warfare and there's been distraction after distraction after distraction. But if you just refocus your heart for a minute, if you just keep your eyes on Jesus just long enough, God would bring you through. God would deliver you out of this thing and into that broad place he's promised you. It's going to happen. Oh, I thank you, Lord, for a refocusing today, God. In the name of Jesus, help us to focus, God, on what really matters because so many things around and about us that come to steal our attention, to steal our thoughts, to steal our heart, God. Oh, Jesus, they don't matter. It doesn't matter in eternity. It makes no difference. You are the only one. You are the only one worthy of our attention, of our focus, of our attraction. God, would you help us to stay in the right line, stay in the right way, God? Would you help us, God? Oh, Jesus, to put aside childish things, to put aside things that are worthless, to put aside the evil report, to put aside those things that defy your will. God, would you help us to remember what you've called us to do? Would you help us to remember what you spoke to our heart? God, would you help us to remember the things that you whispered to us in darkness that we would not let go of them when the light comes, God, when the fire comes, God, when the waters come and the winds come, God, help us to stay steady. Your hope is an anchor to our soul, God. Help us not to lose hope. Help us not to lose faith. Help us not to lose uh, that that fire, that zeal that you put on the inside of us when you first spoke to our heart. Help us not to lose our first love. Help us not to lose those things that you've put on the inside of us. Lord, I thank you that no one can snatch you, snatch us from your <coughs> from your hand. God, would you help us? Would you help us? Would you help us? You are our helper. Where does our help come from? It comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven, the creator of the earth, the creator of our hearts, the creator of our flesh, the creator of our mind, our soul, our spirit, our body. You created us in your image, God. Help us to remember that on the hard days, Jesus. Help us to remember that when everything seems to be going wrong, God. Help us to remember the vision that you put in our heart, God, even when the 
those around and about us are acting like fools, even when those around and about us are being manipulative and controlling and, 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 and petty and immature and, and just totally opposing that which you've called us to, God. Help us, Lord, when the naysayers rise up and try to get us off the wall like they did with Nehemiah. Remind us of the vision. Remind us when the accusers come, the accusers of the brethren, and try to litigate against us in the spirit. God, help us. Help us remember the vision that you put in our hearts when people around us persecute us because they don't understand us. God, would you help us? Would you help us? Would you help us? Would you help us, God, to stay focused on you, the author and the finisher of our faith? God, would you help us in Jesus' name? Would you help us, God? There's no other help we can draw from. Nobody else understands us the way you do, God. Nobody else gets it. Who are we supposed to turn to? Who are we supposed to talk to when all hell is breaking loose and nobody gets it and nobody really wants to get it? Oh, they're just too concerned about themselves. Lord, let us let us be those who are selfless, preferring others. Let us model the person that we want to be, how we want to be treated to unto others as you want people to do unto you. God, would you help us to walk in your precepts? In Jesus' name, you are worthy. Help us keep the vision alive. Help us remember what you told us in that secret place. God, would you help us? Would you remind us? Would you keep it in the center of our focus, God? Oh, the Habakkuk. Habakkuk said, write the vision and make it plain, God. Write the vision on the tablets of our heart. Write the vision on the tablets of our heart that we might not forget it, God, when all hell breaks loose. Oh, when the people around us fail us, when the people around us hurt us, when the people around us use us, when the people around us abuse us, when the people around us won't rise up, when the people around us try to drag us down. It's not about the people around us, God. Would you help us to stay focused on you? It's not about them. It's not about us. It's all about you. It's not about them. It's all not about us. Jesus, it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about your will. God, it doesn't matter how we feel. It doesn't matter what we're thinking about. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all about you. It's all about your will. God, would you help us this morning to stay centered on your will, God? Stay centered on the vision, God. Stay centered on your heart, God. Oh, all these distractions of the enemy, I bind them in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that the sweet-smelling Savior of the presence of the Lord would reach our nostrils today wherever you find yourself whatever you're walking through some of you have been smelling smoke it's the smoke of hell fire but the Lord wants you to smell the sweet savor of his presence oh in the name of the Lord we thank you God for what you're doing Jesus help us God 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 help me God Jesus, karavashto shoro boshta kataravashte sheke tere beshte, ashe romoshto shoko toravashte ke tere beshte ke te, yeke tere ramashto koto ravashte sheke tere beshte, o shoro ramashte ke te katam rasta, ye shoko toro boshte sheke tere beshte. There's someone on this broadcast, and you've lost something so valuable to you. You've lost something. It was a person so valuable to you, and you're in such pain. You're grieving. You don't know what you're going to do because this person was so valuable to you and they're gone they're void there it's like a void in your heart it's like a void in your heart but the lord would say to you that i am your everything i am your everything I am your everything. So turn to me in this hour of grief. Turn to me in this hour of trouble. Turn to me in this moment of sorrow. And I will refresh you. And I will restore you. And I will reignite you. And I will do whatever it is you need me to do for you. Because my heart, it is for you. My mind, it is thinking about you. Oh, Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that you pour your healing balm of Gilead over all those on this broadcast who are grieving, who have lost anything, have lost anyone, who don't know where to turn God I ask you in the name of the Lord all those who are hurting and in pain in their souls God I ask you to bring your healing power to meet them and remind them that you are God you alone are God there is no other God like you and you are faithful oh Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus I thank you Lord 
I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I was reading Psalm 69 this morning. I'm just led to read it to you now. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my throat. I sink in deep mire, and there is no standing place. I have come into the watery depths, and a stream overflows me. I weary, I am weary of my crying. My throat is parched. My eyes fail Why, while I wait for God. Though, listen now. Here's the part that really struck me. Listen, 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 listen. Those... <clears throat> Those who hate me without cause are more than the hairs of my head. They are mighty who would destroy me, being my rotful enemies, so that I must pay back what I did not steal. See, the, the devil is trying to make you pay back what you did not steal. We talked about payback a couple of months ago and the enemy is trying to reverse fortunes on some of you he's trying to twist the script on some of you there have been accusations come against you where people are trying some of you that people are trying to make you pay back something you did not take pay the price for a mistake you did not make pay back pay back pay back it's a demonic reversal but we're not standing for it today there's accusations that have come against some of you and the, 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 you're, they're trying to make you pay for something that you did not do they're trying to cause you to, 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 to take the fall for something that you did not do, to pay the price for something that you did not do. I break that demonic payback in Jesus' name. I break the powers of it now in the name of the Lord. I thank you, Jesus, that we will not have to pay the price for somebody else's mistakes any longer. We will not pay the price in a demonic way. I thank you, Lord. We will be self-sacrificial, serving others, being willing to bear one another's burdens, restoring others gently with a right spirit. It, but we will not receive demonic assignments of payback. We will not receive demonic accusations against our character, against our, our life, against our vision. We will not pay a price the devil wants us to pay. We will not, 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 we will not. I break this assignment in the name of Jesus. The demonic payback will not stand. We declare the payback of the Lord. <clears throat> double for our trouble, triple for our trial, a hundredfold return, praise God, whatever it takes, God, we're going to stand and fight for the payback. There are some of you in the month of payback, and that word doesn't expire, by the way. There's some of you in that month, what I prophesied payback, you saw payback, you saw payback, you saw payback. Others of you, it seems like it's almost, it's almost reversed on you. It's because of a demonic assignment. No more, no more. You got to stand against that. No more false accusations, no more false uh, faults, uh, it's like a twisting. I break it in the name of the Lord. I thank you, Lord, for mega payback in Jesus' name. Mega payback, mega payback, mega payback. And we break the assignment of the enemy. We bind the hand of the thief in Jesus' name. We shall not stand for this assignment. We break it. We cut its cords. You twisting spirit, we break your powers in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. We claim the mega payback in Jesus' name. False accusations be broken in Jesus name lies being uttered against us I break them in the name of, uh, in the name of Jesus the name against every name Jesus name hallelujah 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 praise be to the living God my God my God my God that demonic payback we break it in G I saw it so clearly that's why some of you are feeling just like this that's why some of you are feeling that the waters have come up to your throat like you're sinking in deep mire and there is no standing place that's why some of you are feeling uh, like you've come into watery depths and streams overflow you that's why some of you are weary from crying that's why some of you have parched throats from crying that's why some of your eyes are burning from crying that's why some of you are around people that hate you without a cause it's a demonic assignment but we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. I thank you, Lord, that we're going to remember who our real enemy is in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. And I come against, we come against, we stand together. Whether this is you or not, come on and agree with me now because somebody's suffering. When one suffers in the body, we all suffer. When one rejoices, we all rejoice. And we're going to rejoice in just a moment. But right now, somebody's suffering. And we're standing with the suffering ones, those who have been hurt 
abused, abandoned, betrayed, lied to, manipulated, controlled. I thank you, Lord, accused, uh, 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 assaulted in the spirit. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. We stand together and we break this assignment off you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We rejoice because it's done. We rejoice because it's finished. We rejoice in the work of the cross. We rejoice in Jesus' name. We rejoice and we praise you, God, in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I had another dream last night. I'm going to share part of it in just a minute. Y'all will have to remind me, but you're going to have to give me a minute to go through my announcements before you remind me at the right time. All you prophetic people now, you're going to know when the Kairos is to remind me, praise God, about the dream. And, and it's something that I want to share with you because I feel like like it's it's about me, but it's also more than about me. Uh, many times it is. It's not always, but this time I believe there's something in it for you. I'm going to share with you in just a moment. Praise God. I break that demonic payback assignment off your life in Jesus name. Yeah, I just see, listen, I'm sorry. I just got to say this. I just see somebody that's just taken a massive financial blow. Who is that? I don't know if you're on Facebook if you're on Periscope, uh, there's a delay in, in, in my broadcast, uh, so you don't hear me for 30 seconds. Who is it that just took a massive financial blow? Who is that? C can you shout out to me? It's you. It's you. It's you. It's more than one of you. It's lots of you. Okay. All right. It's okay. Oh, well, my God. Okay. <coughs> all right. So I see you all over Facebook. I see you all over Periscope. Okay. All of you. Not, not all of you, but okay. Hunt I see that. Okay, let's pray against this right now. You've taken a massive financial hit. Praise God. All right. I'm not praising God for it. I'm praising God for revealing it. We're going to deal with this right now. Then I'm going to do my announcements. You've taken a massive financial blow. That is not the will of God for you. If you've been tithing, if you've been giving offerings, you, the enemy has no right uh, to attack you. He has no right to touch your finances. It all belongs to the Lord. You're just a steward of it. Remember that. So when the enemy comes to steal your money, he's not really coming to steal your money. He's coming to steal your joy because the Lord owns everything. Everything. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. He owns it all. He is your provider. He is your deliverer. It all belongs to him. The enemy is trying to mess with you. So I stick, come on, let's all pray now. I break the assignment of the enemy against your finances now in the name of Jesus. I say, enemy, let go. I bind the hand of the thief. I thank you, Lord, when the thief is caught stealing according to your word, that he's got to repay seven times in the name of Jesus. He's got to repay seven times in the name of Jesus. I command a repayment from the pits of hell. We go in like Joshua and we take that promised land. We, di we, we dispossess the occupants of our promised land. Some of you, the Lord has promised you financial breakthrough and there are giants that remain in the land and one of them just whacked you upside the head. Guess what? We're going to dispossess those occupants right now in Jesus name. We're dispossessing the giants. We say uh, a giant of financial burden. We break Break your powers in Jesus' name. You robbing, stealing, killing giant that tries to come against finances. And, 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 and yeah, we break that in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord. I bind it and I lose provision over you. Everyone that's taken a financial hit, I thank you, Lord, that you will turn it around, a divine reversal. Turn it around, God, in Jesus' name because it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. And you can give it back in an instant just as fast as the devil took it. You can give it back in an instant, God. So we're asking you, give it back in an instant. And if there's something we've done, something somebody has done to, 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 to open a door in Jesus' name, Lord, show us that we might repent. If we've not been tithing, if we've not been giving, if we didn't give when you told us to give, if, we, if we've been foolish with money, if we've been poor stewards, God, show us what to do that we might close that door and repent because you own everything and you are our provider. And Lord, your, you, your word says to put me in remembrance and to reason with you. You. So we're reasoning with you now, God. Lord, if we've done something wrong, we repent. But God, in the name of Jesus, you are our provider. You are, you've given us the power to create wealth. You own everything. And your word says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his people begging bread. And so we're not going to be beggars. We're not paupers. We are princes. We are kings. And Jesus is the king of king and the Lord of lords. And we are the kings of 
whom he is the king of. And so I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that this assignment against finances, this weapon formed against your uh, financial life is broken in the name of Jesus. And this demonic payback that's come against you to thwart you, to stymie you, I call it broken in the name of Jesus. And I release in the name of the Lord a blessing over you. Everything you put your hand to shall prosper. Crazy favor over you. Open doors and payback in Jesus' name. Praise God. All right. I had to do that. I'm sorry. I have to, I had to do that. I just felt like there's somebody that really took a financial hit. Seems like that was a lot of you. Somebody Facebooked me yesterday and said they were going through a, just a massive financial struggle and that the Lord told them to send me half their savings. I'm like, whoa, hold up. You need, you need to make sure that's the Lord. So, you know, I, I don't know. Sometimes the Lord does have us to do crazy things. We're in the middle of a financial battle. You have to get your strategy. The Lord's going to show some of you uh, if there's an open door. The Lord's going to show some of you uh, that it that had, to, had to thwart this attack more completely. The, the Lord's going to show some of you that you have a wrong alignment. Uh, the Lord is going to show some of you uh, uh, just a strategy for making money uh, for, for, for coming into that. The Lord's going to show you. I pray that he does quickly in Jesus name. Hallelujah. I want to remind you the Awakening Blaze prayer movement. We've got nearly 400 people that have signed up since yesterday to be part of the interest call. If you want to do that, uh, you can uh, just email. Uh, you can go to uh, my Eventbrite page and find that on there. It's uh, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Uh, if you really can't find it, just email the office, awakeningblaze at gmail.com. If you want to be part of the interest call, we'll send you the link to register. We're going to send out the phone number and the replay of the call. So that's why we're trying to get you to register so we can just, you know, send out the, the, the replay because some of you might not be able to make the call live, but you're going to want to listen to it later. Some of you are in different time zones. So we're asking you to register. That way we can go ahead and send you the, the replay uh, so you can get those, hear the vision of Awakening Blaze. Dr. Bill Hammond uh, sent me a, 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 an email yesterday with an endorsement uh, for the movement that just thrilled me. I remember when he endorsed my first book and I cried and wept because I was so humbled and honored. And once again, he, he, he just touched touches my heart with his words. So we're going to go forward with this. We've got 62 or 63 prayer spokes starting uh, now, and we're going to have hundreds of these all over the, all over the world. So if you want to be part of that, go to, go to my page or just go to awakeningblaze.com, send, send a message to the office. If you want to sow a seed and break the devil's back, the devil's been trying to break your back. Sometimes the best way to break the devil's back is to sow a seed that breaks the cycle. If you've been in a cycle of, of, uh, of, of being robbed from, stolen from, I'll never forget the time that I was uh, living in Alabama and I was so, so po poor, I was poverty stricken uh, because I'd had everything stolen from me. Everything I had was taken wrongly and I was still being generous. I was still helping people. I was still with what little I had, uh, letting people borrow money and they were not paying me back. And I got really upset one day and I was down the couch on my knees praying. And I said, Lord, I said, I don't understand this. I'm helping people. I'm trying to be nice. You know, I have such very little, I've got a little baby girl and I, and I'm, I'm sacrificing and I'm trying to be a good person and help. And, and, and I was so mad. I'm like, I'm tired of people stealing from me. I'm so tired of people robbing from me. God, I can't stand this anymore. So wrong. And the Lord said something to me that, that I didn't like. He said, stop robbing from me. And in that moment, I realized that no one ever taught me about tithing or giving or sowing. No one ever taught me. I was a brand new Christian. But I began to look that up and I realized that, you know, you know, giving to people is good when directed by the Lord, uh, but giving to God is, is always good. We can give to people sometimes and it's not the Lord. He doesn't want us necessarily to bail people all out of all of their trouble. Some people get themselves in financial trouble and the Lord wants them to learn a lesson and he will rescue them, but he doesn't need us to rescue them. And that's what I was doing. I was rescuing people out of their own poor decisions uh, with money. And of course, since they were making poor decisions with money, they never paid me back because they didn't have it back to give me because they were just, they were just wasting it. But I began to tithe and I began to sow and I began to give offerings. Uh, I will well, tell you back then it was Joyce Meyer Ministries. I just, and whatever I had extra, uh, I just gave it all to, to, to that ministry and also Kenneth Copeland and just different ones back, you know, many, many years ago. And, and I began to prosper and I began to increase and I began to come out of debt and I began to get debt free. And then I began to own properties debt free. And today I own uh, a number of, I don't know how many more, I have four, four properties and 23 acres of land debt free. And it was all because I 
I learned the principle of, of sowing and giving uh, in a time when I was in absolute famine. So it could be the Lord's leading you to sow a seed today. If he is, go for it. Uh, if he is, do it. If he's, if he's moved your heart to break the cycle of, of this that's coming against you by sowing a seed, be obedient. Do what he says to do when he says to do it. Delayed obedience is disobedience. So I want to give you an opportunity to sow. Go to jenniferleclair.org slash donate. jenniferleclair.org slash donate. You can become a partner uh, there. Uh, also, I know Lori Howard was trying to sow a seed. She said the form didn't work. I think the form is working because other people are donating, uh, but you can possibly, uh, 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 if you're having trouble there at jenniferleclair.org donate, you can go to paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, or you can go to uh, Jennifer, yeah, jenniferleclair.org donate, or you can go uh, to uh, uh, pay a uh, text to pick text to give text the word pray P R A Y to seven five four seven zero one two one six one seven five four seven zero one two one six one. Uh, praise God. Uh, you can go there as well. Or if you want to send a check, you can go to my website and find the PO box at the bottom of the page. Praise God. So how can I pay at PayPal for Ignite? Now you can't pay at PayPal for Ignite. Now you have to use the pay the Ignite registration page. Okay. Um, I'm hoping one day to have that worked out, but my developers are so backlogged uh, right now, uh, that, uh, that's not our top uh, priority at the moment, but it is in the future plans, but God knows when that will be. All right. All right. So, uh, if you want to join my, she brought up ignite my ignite network, ignite now.org. It's a, it's a prophetic network for prophetic people. Uh, we're praying, uh, there, we're getting, uh, uh, some level of training. Now somebody the other day was, uh, was a little snarky with me and said, well, I thought this was all about, you know, me getting raised up and trained in the prophetic. And I wanted, I wanted a school. I wanted a prophetic train. Ignite is not a school. I do have a school. It's called Next Level Prophetic. If you want just the training, intense training, like hours and hours and hours of training, then nextlevelprophetic.com uh, is where you access that. Ignite, we do some training. We do a longer training about every six weeks. I do shorter videos uh, in there as well. There's a lot of videos in there you can watch, uh, but it's not uh, a school. So I want to make that very clear because I don't want anybody to be disappointed or to misunderstand the purpose of the function. Uh, this is, a, you know, Ignite now is, Ignite Network is, is, is a network for people that want to be hooked and connected with me and with a tribe of prophetic people, okay? Uh, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with people. I think they, they, they don't read, uh, what they're signing up for. And then they, they, they sort of get nasty with my staff, which makes me upset. Um, because it's wrong. Well, I don't like people releasing witchcraft at me, praise God, or my staff. So there's that. Uh, also, the uh, Angels Conference uh, is uh, J July 28th, 29th, and 30th with Naomi Rain at the Awakening House of Prayer. Uh, yes, I'm going to share my dream. Oh, you got the Kairos moment, praise God. Let me share my dreams. If you're in the Ignite group, go to the video tab, dear. You'll find them there, or just comment, and someone else will help you, praise God. The great thing about Ignite is I'm tired of the witchcraft too, Perpetuous 21. The dream. Y'all ain't going to leave me alone on my, on my dream, are you? All right. Here's, here's part of my dream. I'm not going to tell you the whole thing because it's way, way, way too long. But here's the thing that I feel like is pertaining to, to a lot of people in the body of Christ. By the way, you're going to want to watch my mid-year prophetic update on Friday night. So don't forget to register for that. It's free. Listen, uh, so in the dream, I was in this certain place. It was like a like healthcare kind of setting. And I didn't bear witness with what was going on. All of a sudden, uh, I was, I was, had this urgency that I needed to move. And I, and I was like, I got to move now, right now. I've got to go. I've got to move. And so I started to pack things up, uh, in boxes and, and I was trying to, and I found all this old stuff that my daughter had stuffed animals and toys and all these clothes and, and all of these kinds of things, uh, uh, you know, and I began to try to parse through what do I need to keep and what do I need to toss out? But I was ready to really in toss out mode because I didn't have much time and I had to move the things that I needed to take with me and I needed to, to just, you know, I could only fit so much in my car. I mean, I, it was a rapid transition. I had an urgency. I had to move. I had to shake. I had to press. I had to go right then. So I began to just, you know, just throw things here, throw things there. I'm getting rid of this. I'm getting rid of that. I'm keeping this. I'm moving here. I'm going. 
and and the Lord has been speaking to me, uh, and I think what some of some of uh, yes, yeah, some of you what you're dealing with is a rapid transition, a rapid mega upgrade is about to come to you, a rapid uh, uh, understanding, a rapid revelation. There's a rapid move coming in your life. There's a mega rapid move coming for some of you. That's why some of you listen. If you've been feeling like you're just you've been stuck 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 I prophesied that yesterday where you're just your feet almost feel like they're stuck to the floor and it's almost like some kind of clay or some kind of sticky stuff you pick up your feet and it tries to pull your feet back down the enemy's been standing in your way but I see a rapid transition for many of you but listen here's what it's going to take you're going to have to decide to leave some things behind you're going to have to decide to get rid of some things that are no longer useful to you all things are profitable said Paul but not all things all things are lawful rather Paul said all all things are lawful but not all things are profitable you got me so some of you are gonna have to leave some things behind that are holding you back that might mean leaving some people behind that are holding you back leaving some old memories behind that are holding you back get and, and, and really zeroing in on what do I need to take with me because it's gonna be a rapid transition some of you are gonna it's just gonna be like in other words it's like a suddenly it's a suddenly and it's like okay I got I've got to go I got to move I got to shake I got to press I got to. it's now the thing I've been waiting for all these years it's now the thing that's coming unto me it, it, that, I, that I've been praying for it's now and so there's a rapid transition so how do you what do you do in that regard let me just teach you for a moment what do you do you prepare yourself you prepare yourself if you're sensing this if you're bearing witness with this if you're if this is like yes I, I I agree that's what's happening you need to begin to prepare yourself now begin to go ahead and get rid of those things that are not profitable you now if there's things you're doing with your time that are not profitable you get rid of it now stop doing it now press through it now if you're having relationship issues with people work them out now if you're if your finances are in disorder get it straight now if you're not spending enough time with the Lord start doing it now whatever it is is, and faith is now the Bible says in Hebrews faith is now it's now it's now it's now so prepare yourself for the shift okay do it because if you want to see that you don't want to hit and get in that rapid transition and, and fail to leave things behind take things with you into this next season that you're not supposed to take with you and you don't want to leave behind something or someone that you are supposed to take with you because you had to make a rapid decision and, you, and sometimes rapid decisions can be hasty decisions and so we don't want to make hasty decisions you can make a fast decision in the will of God but you got to prepare yourself now come on Felicia make an upgrade now in the name of Jesus now 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 Faith Faith is now rapid transition come on now in the name of Jesus so I want you to take that to heart this dream has many levels of interpretation for my life and also for others but I'm telling you take this to heart if you bear witness with it do what I'm you know I'm teaching giving a scriptural uh, principles uh, of how to do this so uh, take that to heart study the word pray and find out what the Lord would have you to do because I'm telling you the Lord said to me it's time to move and here we are six weeks later and it's it's still time to move some of you haven't moved yet some of you have been holding on because you didn't know which way to go but it's time to move in Jesus name hallelujah all right remember do what God's called you to do do what God's called you to do. don't let people hold you back I thank you Lord for all these ones in Jesus Jesus name we're gonna go back into worship